Hi, this is Donna. Welcome back to Melfina's Magic, Crochet Cooking, etc. I'm here today because I have a Happy Meal to unbox. This is a Happy Meal box. I was sent by um, Kathy, one of my friends. She does not have an active YouTube channel with content, so I went ahead and opened the box with her. And I'm just gonna go over the beautiful stuff she sent me because, oh my gosh, it's fantabulous, fantabulous. She sent me this beautiful thank you card. And this is one of my favorite colors in the whole world. Sort of a bright turquoise, Tiffany blue. And she says, Thank you for being the special, unique person you are. I'm so glad I got to meet you and so enjoy our chats and getting to know you. You are so kind and supportive of everyone. I appreciate all the knowledge you share and have learned so much from you. Hope you enjoy all the goodies I sent. The tissue wrapped package is a belated birthday. Happy birthday. Love ya, Kathy. She is, she has such good taste, people. And I'm going to show you first. It was tissue wrapped initially in a bright turquoise blue, which of course is my favorite color. And I, I can't show it to you without unwrapping it because you don't get the beautiful color of it. So I have to unwrap it. Now, this is Stenley. Stenley is a company out of Bulgaria. Oh, Bulgaria. Stenley creates some of the softest, most awesome cotton cakes and muffin cakes that you will ever see. This one is candy. It is, well, it, it doesn't say the color. I'm guessing one of those numbers on here is the color, but they always have this beautiful wooden pull tab to help you find the start, which is actually perfect for creating a stitch marker with afterwards. It's always tucked nicely in, but look at those colors and the gorgeousness you're seeing is the same thing I'm seeing. It's a beautiful dark turquoise graduating to a beautiful light turquoise, a lighter sky color blue and white on the outside. And in between the turquoise and the lighter blue-green sort of turquoise is a layer of the mix of the two colors. And you can really see the gorgeousness of this cake. This Stenley candy cake has 900 meters of yarn on it of a number two fine weight. 900 meters, that's enough for a full shawl or a summer top. There's so many things I can do with it. And as you can tell, it's right up my line in colors. She knows these Stenley cakes are amazing. They're 100% cotton and it's very soft, very, very softly spun. And she couldn't have got a more perfect color for a birthday gift for me. It's amazing. And now I'm going to have to find a really special project to make with it. And looking into the box. Again, there's a theme here, people. Um, Kathy knows what I like. I mean, she knows what I like. This is a yarn art flowers. It's in, oh, the flowers is the color, I believe. 
It's made in Turkey. It's the color 254. It is 250 grams, 8.8 .8 ounces, 1,000 1, meters. And it is 55% cotton and 45% pack, P-A-C. I think that's polyester acrylic. If you know for sure, list it for me somewhere so that I know for sure. It is a one super fine, machine washable, dry flat, do not bleach. And of course, yarn art is made usually in Turkey. But look at those colors, a light blue and a dark, or light purple and dark purple mixed fading into a a dark, uh, more light purple with less light dark purple, fading into a purple with blue. They're mixed colors, and I'm not sure how close I can get it before you lose that. And then there's uh, the purple with the light blue, and then there's the light blue with the turquoise, uh, heavier turquoise, l less light blue. light uh, or dark dark turquoise with a, a navy blue and outside is a solid navy blue. So that is going to gradient itself, transitioning from the darker purples to the light purples, to the light blue, to the turquoise blue, and then to this wonderful, wonderful dark blue. So I will probably do something like a shawl with this and start with the purples on the inside and go down to the dark blue for a nice laced edge of some sort um, simply because I love the darker on the outside and that's I think that's what my plan is for this it's gorgeous And then, aha, uh -huh. ooh, this is a number four, and I have never worked with this before. I've never had this yarn before. This is Premier Momenti. And this is a chain spun, 58% cotton, 42% acrylic. It's got 473 yards and 400 meters in this seven ounce, 200 gram cake. And I've got two of them. And this is really stunning. It's solid. No, it's actually gradiated a little bit. I can see that it's a slightly darker purple in the inside, and then it goes to a lighter purple and a lighter gray. And then it goes to a darker gray and it goes back to the darker purple. So that's going to be interesting when it's crocheted up to see how the patterning lays out. And they look like they're identically spun. So these will be, be two identical cakes that can be used back to back without any color pooling or color planning. Um, you can just go right, right from one to the other. I love that in a cake. You know, cakes that you buy four of them and three of them start at the same color and run in the same pattern, but the fourth one is completely different or two cakes run in exact, the exact same pattern so you can continue your color scheme. And the, the third one in the three pack is wonkers or split and they've tied it off three or four places. And then, yeah, you can use part of it, but mostly you end up having to use it as a border because it just won't lay the right way. But, okay, I'm OCD with my projects. I admit it completely. I color plan. If I don't like a color I on a multicolor skein, I'll remove it every span of it when I run into it. I will color plan for um, the blanket to run blue, purple, green, uh, yellow, and then green, purple, blue, you know, t so that the color is gradient outwards from the center. I like to play with color 
and I'm not afraid to cut the color and reconnect it with a magic knot when it doesn't work out right. And if I don't like it, I've, I've been known to tear apart huge sections of blankets because there's a section of a, a white where there shouldn't be anything but color. And when I crocheted, I wasn't paying attention. You know, I was movie watching and moving right along. And I look back and I go, how did that get there? No, 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 no. And if it's too far back, I've been known to rip it out of the middle and recrochet it without disturbing the blanket if I can. I'm pretty good at that because I'm pretty picky. Now, I'm not so picky about everybody else's stuff. When you make me something, I love it. I love it the way it is. It's perfect. But if I'm making it and I spot something, got to fix it. It's my OCDism. It's got to be fixed. Because every time I look at that blanket or that top or that scarf set, I know it's there. I, I've gone so far as to rip out 200 rows of a 250 row blanket and put it back together. And that's why I taught myself to not have to tear it out and to crochet it into the middle in the right color. It's challenging, but it's awesome when you fix it and you know you didn't have to frog it that far. And on to the next project. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now this is in another one I've never seen. This is gonna have to take it out to read the labels properly. There are two cakes of these. They're identical. Yeah, they're identical. They started identical and finished identical. This is Universal Yarns, and it is Revolutions is the name. Let me show you the colors. It goes from a purple to a dark blue to a turquoise to an even darker purple to a fuchsia a fuchsia type color, a fuchsia purple. And this is 57% acrylic, 15% nylon, 10% alpaca, 10% wool, and 8% mohair. Now, any of you who have watched a couple of my videos, this says to use a size nine knitting needles and a size J10 six millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you've watched some of my previous, um, some of my previous videos, you'll know I can't work with um, non-processed wool. And so I've felt this up and I actually, when I opened it up with Kathy, I did the skin test. Rubbed it on my arm, rubbed it on my chin, and waited to see if I was going to break out. Because I non-treated wool usually makes me break out in hives. So, I have tested this, and it's perfectly fine. I'm going to be able to use it, and it's gorgeous. These colors are just so beautiful so stunning and this each skein of this is let me see well it doesn't technically say let me see if i can look under the label it does not say what size the yarn is it's color 105 hidden pool but based on the thickness with the halo, I'd say they're probably calling it a four because of the six millimeter hook, but it's 
the halo that gives it that. I think it's probably more of a uh, light three, and I will probably treat it as a light three when I go to work with it. And once again, you know, I worked with a lot of different yarns, but there's a, so many out there, I've, I've missed a lot of them. This is a three pack of DK Color Fusion, Premier Color Fusion. And it is 325 yards for 295 meters, there are 300 or 100 grams per skein, so that's 300 grams uh, per these three. It's 100% acrylic, 3.5 ounces worth of yarn in each um, each skein. So that is six, three, six, nine, 896 meters. and 920 or 75 yards of yarn in this set. And they are beautiful, blues, pinks, purples. And they are soft, 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 soft. Everything so, smells so fresh. There's nothing better than a fresh smelling yarn. And I know it seems silly to smell your yarn if a yarn is funky, you don't throw it out. Make a project. Wash it. Wash it. If you have a Centro, knit it up, wash it, and then tear it out. And then make your project with, you, with it. Because 99% of all smells can easily be removed. Don't ever throw, if you're ever tempted to throw yarn out because of its smell, find one of my videos, send me an email, and I'll talk to you about a yarn swap. Or send it to me, and I'll send you the postage to send it. Don't throw it out. I do so many donation projects, and I find so much yarn that's been down in somebody's basement for or, or garage forever, and they're just going to throw it out. And I go to a yard sale and they've got a bag in the corner and I say, that's not got a, not got a price on it. You know, um, what, what are you doing with that? Oh, oh, that has, it was down in a basement or an, up in an attic and it, it has a smell. And I'll say, hey, can I give you two bucks for the bag? Sure, you want that stuff? I do donation projects. Yes, I want that stuff. I can always find a way to make stuff with it. And if it's wool and I can't use it myself, I can pass it on along to other people I know that make blankets for seniors, socks, hats, scarves. I do all of that for seniors, for veterans, and for foster kids. There's never a time I can't find a placement for it. The next yarn I got, one, two, three, Four, five, and she even sent me the partial that she had left. Now, Kathy said this is one she's worked with quite a bit for a personal friend who likes this color a lot. And she's made so many things, she's done looking at the color, and I was like, yeah, no problem. Send it to me, I'll send you a swap. This is ice cream yarn. I know most of you have heard of this. I've actually worked with some colors, but never this color. This is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 394 yards, 360 meters of it's a it's a size three yarn. Um, it's a th light three, using a 3.75 knitting needles or an H8 five millimeter hook. It is machine washable and machine dryable. So I've got five of these. That's 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, almost two, uh, yeah, almost 2,000. And with the extra, I will have 2,000 yards of this yarn. It's a beautiful color scheme. It's, do they start the same? They start a little bit different everywhere. That's not a problem. I can work on it. It's a sort of country slate blue, um, a green, like a pistachio green. It moves on to a, back into a slate blue. So obviously the cut, color patterns um, vary outwards. So the pistachios got the slate blue, uh, the country blue and the slate blue on both sides. And then it goes to the, goes to a uh, dark seafoam green, into a light seafoam green, and into a white. And then the pattern repeats itself. So this will be a beautiful striping effect um, because the pattern stripes will, will come out and will um, set up their own sections. So this is going to be gorgeous. I'm going to have a blast with this. And then next, ooh. Now, I've also worked with this one. This one was just ice cream. This one was ice cream roving divigation. And I've worked several projects with the roving divigation, but I've never been able to find this color pattern locally. This is cool blue and it has let me show you the colors well, let me show it to you on this end because it's got so much more of the beautiful colors now this is seven ounces 200 grams 437 yards 400 meters it's a hundred percent acrylic machine wash warm gentle cycle tumble dry medium normal heat um 5.5 knitting needles 5.5 millimeters or size 9 knitting needles and K10.5, 6.5 um, hooks. So this means that I'm looking and I don't, it's a four, it's a medium four. But look at the colors. It has such beautiful colors and they're heathered. So they're two colors mixed and wound together. So we have a beautiful turquoise and a lighter blue with it. And then a two-tone blue and a blue and white and pale or a blue and pale pale blue and a pale blue and a white and then back into the turquoise um, and that pale blue mixed in that is gorgeous and it is 800 yards of a four weight so that's plenty to make um, a scarf a, a shawl scarf and a hat and a glove set, um, a top, uh, uh, maybe a fall weight top. That That's beautiful. And again, so soft and exactly my colors. But wait, there's more. That favorite saying of mine. I have worked with several colors of this yarn, but I have not worked with this color. This is Barcelona Big. This is a bulky five. It's a beautiful colorway. It is 410 yards, 808 meters or ounces. 325 meters, 250 grams. So that is 820 yards or 750 meters. It includes a pattern and it's a five weight. Machine wash cold, do not bleach, tumble dry low on low heat. And it takes a US 10 circular needle or, or knitting needle, and it takes a six millimeter US J10 crochet hook. And that is plenty enough for a lap dance 
or a toddler blanket. And the color on this one is Jasper. And from my jewelry making and gemstone experience, those are all beautiful Jasper colors. Look at the blue. And then it goes down into reds and greens and browns in the inside. Very heathered, tweedy effect to it and super soft. I got two of those. And I have some of these, but not in this color. These are the Ogo Colorama Halo. And these are a bulky five, graduating from the dark, round through to the light, lighter and the lightest and you can use them in either direction they are the quick start tangle free and uh they are let me see they are a bulky five six millimeter us 10 hook six millimeter J10 crochet hook, 71% acrylic and 18% nylon. And they're 11% polyester. And I think the polyester is what's used for the halo because it is super, super soft. And polyester tends to be a really soft, soft feel. This is definitely scarfable. This is scarfable, wearable, cuddleable, you name it. A teddy bear amigurumi done in this? Ooh, that I might have to try. Um, crochet pillow. Oh my gosh, with, with this much yardage. Four hundred and eighty-one yards, four hundred and forty meters. That is eight hundred and eighty meters. There's a lot of yarn in these things. I appreciate that because the original Ogos. I think we're lightweight, lighter, lighter weight yardage, you know, lighter yardage wise. And I think they got the hint that we want to get as much yarn on an Ogo as we do in a skein. And originally they were doing smaller skein, smaller Ogos. And if they're doing Caron Ogos and Caron yarns in similar colors, we're not willing to pay two or three dollars more for less yarn. The convenience factor is just not there. It's not worth it. But when you make them tangle free and you start matching them to the weightage in the regular skeins, you've hit the jackpot. And again, beautiful, stunning colors. I'm telling you, Kathy is the bomb. Um, if you want to meet her, come into AJ's Touch Chats from Facebook, AJ's Personal Touch. They do, we do chats. We chat at different times, but AJ always posts when the room is open. Come in and chat with us. It would be so much fun. Um, you can meet Kathy. You can meet AJ, Ambie, Kaylin. You can meet the whole crew. And it's no stress. Just come in and chat with us. Have a blast. When you have to dump out, you dump out. And last but not least were some goodies that she sent me because I do micro crochet and mini micro crochet. And she said, well, I have some leftover embroidery threads and floss, um, you know, threads and floss. And I was like, she was like, you know, would you like to have them? I'm not going to turn that down. Um, I'm planning to make a bunch of stitch marker hangings, little hearts, little shapes, and donate them to AJ for her stitch markers. And so she sent me a beautiful red, think Valentine hearts. Oh yeah. And then she sent me all these wonderful, wonderful colors. Look at these. 
There must be 50 skeins in there. Beautiful turquoise. Look at that beautiful turquoise. Light blue, dark blue, stunning teal, yellow, white, pink. Yep. And she even sent me the ones she had already wrapped from a project. And they're perfect because wrapped already means they're already unwound for me and rewound on into a form that I can easily use. So these are a, a great bonus. And that wraps up my box. Thank you very much for staying with me while I unwrap my box and talk to you guys. I hope you come back again. I've got another eBay haul in. I'll be posting that video as well very shortly. So come back and see the eBay win. Um, until then, thank you very much for visiting with me. Have a nice day.